morning guys, happy Saturday. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. If you don't know me, I'm Diane and we're UK Disney vlog. It's half seven in the morning. I'm dressed like this. So I'm going out for a run and it's absolutely tipping it down outside. You think living in Manchester, I would be better prepared for the rain, but I don't own a proper running raining coat. And my friend still wants to go for a run. I probably would have gone out anyway. But even so, I really need to invest in a new running coat for the rain. I'm going to get soaked. Right, I will check in with you guys when I get back and then fill you in on last week and the weekend ahead. See you in a bit. Just got back from my run, I literally couldn't be more wet. If I tried, <laughs> I, the camera's not doing it justice. The water's just dripping off of me. My jumper's already, my coat's already in the wash. There was just no point in it. Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> Nine miles done. Don't call me a fair weather runner, <laughs> that's for sure. All warmed up from my run now. Um, a nice, lovely warm bath, some breakfast, nice cup of coffee. It's still raining, absolutely tipping it down. Obviously it looks worse because we're on the motorway. <laughs> Sorry, everyone in front of us is breaking simply. <laughs> um, yeah, so it looks worse because we're on the motorway, but it is still absolutely tripping it down. Sorry about that, David needed to drive and I was clearly in the way. Um, my bad. So we're just heading off to Dunelm. Um, Emily needs some bedding because her double bed is arriving this week, which she, she wanted for her birthday. So we're going to go and pick that up and have a picture around there. And then I'm taking David and the kids on an exciting adventure. Yeah? Call it exciting. We're going to a... I'm going to call it an antique shop, not a jungle shop, not a charity shop, it's an antique shop. A friend of mine um, showed me on Instagram, sorry. So you said you didn't need the mirrors again. A friend of mine showed me on Instagram this vintage shop that's um, in Stockport, so I wanted to have a look around and see what there was. Um, David's a bit worried that I might want to buy stuff. What did you just say? We need the beeper going on there or what? <laughs> right, so we'll have to try and film when we're in there and then we'll see what we can find at Dwell. We'll see you in a minute. What have you found, Harry? Mm. Toy Story. You've got a friend in me. Oh. Cool. It's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, oh my God. Don't break it. I'll put it back. Okay. Whoever knew there was so much choice in duvets. They range from thick to thicker to the ridiculously expensive. I love buying new duvets. <gasps> what have you found now? What have you found now? Oh, a Grogu pillow. Hello. I can afford that. You can afford it, can you? I thought you were saving up for Legoland. Still have enough. All right. And I'm like... Finished in Don Elm. Spent a fortune in there. And we've just nipped to KFC. We've been really naughty. KFC in the car on a Saturday. Drinks. And all the chicken. I'm going to enjoy this though. So we've just come to a vintage emporium and there is so much to look at. I mean, it's just incredible. Let me show you what there is. This lot are really freaked out. I'm gonna get ahead. We'll get, get ahead of the mind. game, yeah. There's so much cool stuff to look at in here. I mean, look at that. Why wouldn't we want a mangle? I think that's amazing. I really don't like it in here. 
This place is definitely haunted. Absolutely haunted. Harry, do you like it? So much cool stuff. Got a fish? Emily is a bit freaked out. Fashion vlogging, eat your heart out. I love it. I don't think YouTube would be a thing. No, I'm not sure. Maybe I was an old YouTuber, was like an old YouTuber. I'm I was born eight years ago. So yeah, I don't know. I think it. But how cool is this camera? That's awesome. So it's quite some time later since I left the shop. That shop was really, really cool, but I could have spent ages in there. Obviously, Harry got a little bit bored. Some of it was repetitive, a lot of 1970s, retro glassware, cookware. The funniest thing was, is just seeing everything my, my parents had and my grandparents had, like the china sets and the pictures. There was a set there that I used to use as a kid. Um, yeah, that my dad used to give me my breakfast out of. So obviously it's now retro. In fact, I might even have one of the sets here that I took off my dad when he moved house. It was cool. Um, I came home, had a quick cup of tea, and then went to bed for a bit, but unfortunately forgot to set an alarm because <laughs> I'm heading off to work for a night shift, so I wanted a bit of a power nap. Thought I'd saved my alarm, didn't set it. David wrote me up at 20 past six going, you don't need to get up ready for work. It's now quarter past seven. I'm about to head out the door to go for a night shift in some US dollars. I don't want to say Disney dollars because I'm not sure what's happening with those trips. I'm going to earn some money for the holidays. Let's keep it like that. Um, yeah, doing two extra night shifts because they were short and obviously I worked yesterday again because they were short staffed. I feel like I'm backfilling the rotor for everybody. Um, not got a great deal planned for tomorrow. Sleeping. I'll get up at about four. It's Mr. David and Mr. Ian's premiere of their Centre Park trip, so I'll get up with a cup of tea and watch that. I'm not even going to go out for a run tomorrow. It's going to be a rest day. Um, might not even pick the camera up. Probably won't. And I will resume with you on Monday because we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, I've got a few things coming uh, that I'm excited about. I need to sh show you some stuff. I need to share some stuff with you about what we bought, what we bought this month week and it's supposed to be coming tomorrow um so yeah i'm really excited to share that with you so i will see you either tomorrow or monday catch you in a bit hello happy sunday is it happy I'm not sure it is a happy sunday it's really dreary outside i haven't slept very well it's just after half six and i have had Five hours sleep, I woke up at about one o'clock needing the toilet. I couldn't go back to sleep. I'm really tired now. I've got another shift ahead of me. Yay. Just sitting down with a silly. It's gonna be a long night. So having a quick brew before I go to work. Just wanted to show you this cup. How cool is this cup? So it's got it's a Pixar one. It's got up on it, Lightning McQueen, Rex, um, what else is it? Ratatouille. What else has it got on it? Wally. That's really cool. And then I bought this one for David. Oh, can't reach it. This cool wilderness explorers mug. It's awesome. So I got those two from the Disney shop um, last week, I think it was. Watched David and Ian's premiere, which was brilliant. Caught up with um, Georgie from Normal Girl Vlogging. So sad about her trip. She's cancelled her... Disney trip or postponed it till next year, which is really sad, but she's going to be doing a road trip of the UK, which is awesome. I hope she gets some great things booked. Um, we're not sure what we're going to do with our trip yet. I looked today and 
wasn't the best idea. Um, basically, it was costing us £11,000 to go to All Star Sports or movies or one of them anyway. It's because there's no proper flights out of Manchester apart from premium. So it puts the flight price, it puts the price of the holiday up by £7,000. Yeah, I'm not paying that. So we're still none the wiser of what we're doing yet. I don't think cancelling's an option because we'll just get charged the deposit, I think, which is like £1,500 we'll lose. Yeah, happy days. Cheers, guys. Um, I'm going to drink this. Go to work and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, happy Monday. It's currently quarter past two and it's Monday afternoon. I have finished nights this morning. Same old story. I, uh, what did I do? Had a sleep, I can't even think. I had a sleep till about 12 o'clock, got up, went for a run. The heavens opened and I got absolutely soaked through again. Yeah. Just embraced it and just ran for it. I was in shorts and t-shirt because the sun was shining before that and sunglasses on and the next minute the heavens opened and I looked like a prat. Did a Joe Wicks 20 minute workout with weights, getting these big strong Popeye muscles. Um, I only did 20 minutes. It, the, yeah, it was supposed to be a 30 minute workout. I did about 20 to 25 minutes. But I need to go and do the school run and have my lunch. So I'm just making my lunch now. I've got some turmeric tea, tasty tea going on there. Actually smells a bit funky, or looks a bit funky. It tastes quite nice. Yeah, turmeric, ginger, licorice, orange. I think it's got like all sorts of it. Oh, it's caffeine free. Yeah, nettles, all sorts. It does look like something you scraped off the forest floor. Nice though. I'm gonna make my toasty that I've got going on here. And, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. I thought it was burning, <laughs> so I had to quickly cut. Um, it's not burnt, I've rescued it, it looks good. Um, eat this and then go and pick Harry up from school and then tidy up. Because I've been working nights, the house just goes don't know what it is. They say it's because they don't want to wake me. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. So that is what I've got planned. But when I get home from school and pick up Harry, I've got something to show you. Something really exciting. So I will see you in a bit. Look who I've got with me. Just picked the boy up from school. Yeah. Been home a little while. I've done your homework now, haven't you? Uh, yeah. And look, I he's had like a haircut. That. I really like it. You do really like it, don't you? Give us a look. Turn around that way. Look how good he looks. Yeah, you feel better? Yeah. Didn't want to go to the mum barbers, did you? No. It used to go under, it was really long before, wasn't yeah. it? And it covered all my ears, but now... It looks super smart. Yeah. Yeah. But we've had some magic mail, haven't we? Yeah. So excited about this magic mail. Let me show you, or let us show you, I should say. Yeah. So, here's the magic mail. Are you going to open it for us, Harry? Yeah. Come on then. <gasps> Look what's arrived! Da, da, da. So this is what I wanted to show you guys. We are, what are we? Merlin, Pre Merlin Premium Annual Pass Holders. Woo woo! So, oh, don't show um, you that. I think we're going to have a bit more um, vlogs now if we have annual passes. <laughs> what was that? We're going to have more vlogs? Yeah, because we're going to go to like what ends of the theme park. Yeah, so how cool are this? We've all got our own annual passes. So this one is Harry's. Let's have a look at your picture. My. Look at his picture. Oh, bless you. You got your old haircut on there. Oh, uh, yeah. Old haircut. New haircut. New haircut. So, and then we got given these with the annual passes as well. And Harry wants to open it. So, open that one because that one's already been had the sellers. How do you okay. <laughs> So that is for your annual pass holder. Let me try and get this. So if you open the box nicely. I didn't. Five pound fast track voucher. Can I do this one handed? Yeah. So you open the pass nicely and then you get, da, 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 you get your premium annual pass. 
Is this a badge? Banyard, and then you get your badge. Is this a badge? It is a badge. Where'd you so put let's it? assemble it, and I'll show you what you do with it. So Harry's got his annual pass, yep. and he's got his lanyard, and his very first limited edition pop badge. Yep. You're all ready to go? Yep. Ooh, and obviously the rest of ours are in here and there. So the annual passes. Merlin aren't actually selling annual passes at the minute. Um, they have put a cap on them. But um, my sister-in-law was part of the Merlin annual pass group and found out that you could get some through Costco. Yeah. And they were selling old passes. I think I've, I think I've mentioned this before in the vlog, but because of the night shifts, I'm really confused. Um, they were selling them off... Um, couple of seasons ago but Costco was still honoring them not Costco Merlin was still honoring them because of Covid mm. so we got these a bargain price of £147 so it's £147 each which is amazing so it's the premium pass which they don't do anymore they've stopped doing the premium passes all together and it's a new sort of discovery pass and gold and platinum so they don't even do these um I don't think there's any blockout dates. Um, it was a bargain, such a good steal. And we're so excited, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. We've got quite a lot of trips planned. Can you remember what we've got planned? So we've got Alton Towers the first day. Got Alton Towers on. And we've got, at first day. Got um, Alton Towers on his birthday, so that's the Thursday. And, the, and um, then on the Saturday, Saturday. we're going to Legoland. And then the Sunday. For four park yes and also did and then on the tuesday harry and i go into Legoland land discovery yeah. in the Man in manchester did you also say we're going again yeah so then then when at the week other weekend so we're going to alton towers again it's me yeah. and Auntie sarah for her birthday yeah so i think just with those trips alone over the um wet half term we've already made our money back so like which is fantastic <laughs> He's been too little. It's just me as I grow. Have you grown? He's sat on Thor's hammer. Is he making you grow? Yeah, I think Um, And then I need to do some tidying up. Still haven't done it yet. I've just been chilling out after school, the school run. Are you going away from me because I'm going to make you tired, eh? Right, catch in a bit, guys. As usual, I forget to pick up the camera and actually vlog, especially cooking dinner and things like that. Um, we've had dinner, I had some salmon and couscous, which was all lovely. Obviously, I've got my PJs on now because I'm getting tired bedtime soon having a cup of tea and yeah going to bed watch a bit of telly traffic cops at the minute i'll get david to switch gray's anatomy on again soon he's loving it now he's not anymore um yeah so that's gonna be it for this weekend vlog i did extend it to monday given that i was working so much um and working nights and didn't obviously do anything yesterday um, thanks for coming along with us guys. We have got some more adventures coming up soon. Uh, we have started to obviously saw our annual passes so we've started booking quite a lot of stuff. So we'll get more exciting. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a big, big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below um, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.